Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this flyer in Canva for free and from scratch. So if you go to the Canva homepage and just sign up for a free account, go to create design. And for this one, I'm going to use an A5 document and it's going to be portrait. So I'm just going to type that into the top here at the search bar. And here you can see the only option is A5, but it is portrait. So we're just going to click on that. And the first thing we're going to do is search for our image. Now for me, I always go to pixels at the bottom here. The way to do that is to go to the apps and then to scroll down and you will find pixels within this menu. Alternatively, go to the search bar at the top, type in pixels and you'll see it will be here. Just click on it and then it will come up on the sidebar here. In here, you can find lots and lots of free images that are not within the pro package. So go up to the search bar at the top and I'm just going to simply type in yoga and press enter. And then you have a whole host of images to choose from. I'm going to choose this one, so just click on it and it will appear in your document. I'm going to crop it, so make sure it's selected. I go to edit image and go along to the crop tool. And here I'm just going to pull down the top, pull up the bottom and then press enter and the image is cropped. I'm just going to reduce the size of it slightly. Then I'm going to create an outline, so go to elements and then in your elements, you'll have shapes. If you can't find shapes, then just go and type it into the top up here. Then I'm going to click on this square, just click once, and you can see the square over the top here. Then I'm just going to slide it out and make it exactly the same size as this image. Then I'm going to go to the top here under border style, and I'm gonna make the border three points or three millimeters wide go to border color and over here you can see we've got a series of colors particularly this one here and it's chosen the colors from your photograph to make all of this completely cohesive so you don't have to worry too much about color selection because it'll do a lot of the work here for you so I'm going to select that color there go to shape fill and then I'm going to take out the fill color in the middle and then in order to make it the same ratio as the photo I'm going to click and hold down my shift key and just drag out about there and then click and drag across both the photo and the border. You can see they're now both selected. Go to position, click on center and middle and you can see now they're perfectly lined up. Then just select group and if I deselect you can see that borderline is nice and perfectly aligned around my image. Then I'm just going to click and drag and as I do so you can see this guideline that appears down the middle that shows me now my image is aligned into the middle of my page. So now to some text I'm going to go to text just going to select add heading and here I'm just going to put in the name and then using this little cross icon here I'm going to click and move that to the top. I'm going to go over here and change the font. I'm going to use this one here I don't know how you pronounce it, Sinzel. Then I'm going to change the color. Again, you go along to your color palette here and just make a selection. I'm gonna select this color here. Now, if it doesn't change, don't worry. Double click on it to make sure your cursor is inside. Click and drag across the text. Go back to text color and select your color again. And then we can use the corner markers to resize. Now you can move it to the edges here or you can move it to the edges of the image completely up to you. I'm going to move mine to the edge of the image. If you find that moving this is, becomes a bit clunky, just hold down your control key on your keyboard and it should make it a lot easier. Deselect it and then reselect it because once you do, you have these options at the top. This one is duplicate, so we're just going to duplicate it. It saves us doing it all over again. We can just change the text. And then double click inside, command or control A to select it all. And then we can just insert our name. And then I don't think it took off. No, this one, it didn't take off the bold. There we go. And then we're going to have a little icon in the middle here. Again, this is personal choice, so you don't have to if you don't want to. Go to Elements. Go to Graphics and click See All. And then you can see I've used this recently used. But in order to do that, I just typed in Symmetrical 
flower and leaves and I came up with this image here so I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to move it up here and reduce the size and then I'm going to change the color click on the blue and once again select from any of these colors then I'm just going to duplicate this box again and move it down to the bottom just extend it out slightly and then we're going to put the word in yoga and then select it all and then we can use the bold for yoga and then once again we're going to duplicate this one and then we can put in some information at the bottom here just going to extend this box out now I'm just going to copy and paste my text in I'm sure you don't want to see me typing deselect it reselect it go up to here again select 12 there we go and again we can move this until it's centered but we can center it all at the end I'm going to duplicate this just going to zoom in and then I'm simply going to add some more information at the bottom reduce the size of the text again deselect it reselect and duplicate and duplicate one more time okay I'm going to reduce the size of these boxes just to make it a little easier to control so first we're going to click and drag across the top three elements at the top and select group and then click and drag across everything then we can go to position and then click center and everything will be centered and now it's just a question of moving everything up and down so you're completely happy with the position of this before we put in the graphics and the background so once you're happy we'll go to elements and again we'll go to graphics and in the top here I'm going to select wavy lines and press enter and you can scroll down and select from any of these and I selected this one here I'm going to click and move it There's this little icon at the bottom here where you can rotate it and resize it and move it wherever you like so to change the color just go up here and select a color of your choice try to stick to these colors from the photo the color palette would just make it a little bit more cohesive duplicate it change the color and all this is personal taste you can move them around you can make them bigger or smaller it is very much down to personal choice duplicate move up to the top here change the color duplicate to change the background color go to elements again or click on this arrow to go back click on the square in the shapes stretch it across your poster go to position and select to back and I'll send it to the back go to color again select the lightest color but then go up to this icon here to add a new color you can see that the color here has been selected on this color palette all I'm going to do is move that up to make it lighter and you can see immediately the result in your poster so to about there and then click away perfect so once you're happy with your poster go to share go to download it's already selected PNG because that's the suggested file type but if you want to change it just click on the drop down and you've got various options there and then just simply click download you can see it's downloading here and then if I just go into my downloads folder double click on my file and you can see this is the poster that I've downloaded so I hope that's helped you today if it has please like and subscribe and have a great day